got a circle. What's up guys it is tuesday morning december the 26th yep 10 24 a.m not a whole lot to video yesterday it's kind of awkward walking into family you know uh family events with a camera uh, so didn't video any of that gotta go back to work tomorrow my wife has to go into work today kids are going to see a movie i'm gonna be running a few errands and doing a little knocking some things off my to-do list today hopefully it's kind of chilly starting over today clean slate on trying to diet and eat right again I didn't do too bad i really didn't do too bad over the holidays i had one or two bad days where it was awful um, but not so bad got the beard going on can't grow a beard at work if you hadn't already figured that out i have to shave um, the only way I can have a full beard is a little bit of my hair grow. And for those of you who don't know, I can grow hair perfectly okay. Um, it is starting to recede a little bit. I notice it from time to time, but not too bad. 
I got a little bit of a, a little bit of a spot there, but it's okay. It's not like a shave, but um, not too bad. Hope to get a little footage today and share life with you a little bit, and I hope to have a better attitude today. I really want to have a better attitude. That helps. Right now, I got to run town and get a few things, so I'll be right back. You know, the day after a holiday, right? If, if you're going out looking for deals or clearance items or something, that, that's fine. You you do that. But it, it's usually common courtesy that if you know that there's going to be uh, half of the town out in the store, it's common courtesy to not just stand there with your buggy and your four kids blocking the whole aisle so nobody can get by especially if there's four people just like you doing the exact same thing i was just called rude in walmart because after the second time of saying excuse me ma'am can i get by you i finally said hey lady can you move out of the way so that everybody can get by and then she just blew up on me like really lady really because the first two times you glanced my way and just ignored me thinking I was talking to someone else because I couldn't possibly be talking to you right oh. <sighs> breathe mm. I'm gonna tell you, I bought this uh, Keurig Revo for my wife for Christmas, and uh, look, we've used it. I, I've had a Keurig since that thing come out. I forgot what model that is. 300 something. Got the color LCD screen. I bought a, a whole lot of these espresso cups, and we've about used them all. Cause it's like I like this a whole lot better than regular coffee. It's a little stronger but the taste is just so much better. And then we bought, uh, which I gotta quit using it, but uh, uh, these caramel, get over here where you can see it. Starbucks caramel uh, play, uh, sweetener. Starbucks caramel sweetener. Uh, so, it uh the milk is just 
perfect and hot, just right. So, and it is a perfect, until you try to do it one-handed, like I just did, make a stinking mess, but, that is a good cup of joe. <laughs> oh, alright guys, so, I'm gonna do a lot of things today. Uh, I have. Uh, I'm gonna do a lot of things today. I have some picking up in the yard to do. I got a neighborhood dog kind of running free. We all kind of feed him or her. Excuse me. We all kind of feed her because we like her. But uh, her and my dog seem to like to chew on trash. So I'm gonna have to put my dog on a runner for a while. Kind of calm him down. I hate doing that. But I got to, for his own good. Because if he does that at the neighbor's yard, they're probably going to shoot him. And I don't want that to happen. Oh, that's good stuff. But, yeah, that's the Keurig Revo 500, I believe it is. That's the model of it. So check that thing out if you like coffee. Especially if you like it strong. Expressos are the way to go. Um... What else? Um, I don't have a whole lot to talk about, guys. I mean, it's just, I've done spilled my guts out to you uh, in other videos, in the video before. Uh, it's just the same stuff. You know, it's, it's Christmas time. Bought the kids some cool gifts. And uh, I went out and flew my drone, as you've already seen, this morning, just for fun. Uh, the kids went to a movie. And Mandy had to work, so I'm kind of Lone Ranger today. So I decided to do some of the stuff that I uh, normally don't get to do. What's up, guys? December the 27th here. Um, boom <laughs> just like that it's all gone oh i had to come to work today i gotta work today and tomorrow and then i'm off to like the ninth you sit in the work parking lot but you know i uh i started cleaning out my uh little home studio last night got a couple ventures got a couple of uh a couple of ideas coming up. Uh, come back to making some music, writing some songs. Um, I also realized here recently that AR-15 and AR-10 parts are at like an all-time low right now. Uh, for our, you know, for this day anyway, 2017, fixing to be 2018, and uh, I was reading. And it said between now and election time, the price is just gonna go up. So I think I'm going to try to go ahead and build me an, another AR, a budget AR. Uh, I used to do a lot of recreational shooting. Uh, tried some long range stuff for a while and just kind of got bored with it. But I love it, I love doing it. I just, I don't have the time nor the money to plank like that. I think I'm gonna do an AR-10. Flat top, bull barrel, AR-10 build. I think that's what I'm gonna do, so stay tuned for that. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. I'll be off all next week. I got a few things coming down the line. Uh, I'm gonna do a review of the uh, Yamaha Outboard uh, uh, diagnostic program, diagnostic tool. So I'm gonna do a review of it, show a link of where I got it from and whatnot. It's almost next year. Almost the new year. It's almost time to start over. And I woke up way too early this morning. And there's way too many people here at work. Peace out guys, love you. Catch you next go around later.
Bye. 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 Bye.